I had been not employed by choice for 15 years. I had been uh, working at previously in mainframe computers. I was a senior systems programmer. Immediately preceding TechLeap, I worked in the IT staffing industry. <clears throat> and uh, I was selling uh, the company's services, staffing services, to different organizations. I had gotten a bachelor's degree in biology, a master's degree in zoology, and a PhD in marine biology. And I had worked as a marine biologist at the University of California for a number of years. Early on, I took a, a PHP class with Chrissy. She's a, a fabulous instructor. She really is so grounded in the real world and what you can do and, and what you can really expect that any class with her, I enjoyed immensely because I not only learned the subject, but I learned why I would want to learn it. Every single professor um, knew his or her stuff uh, inside and out. The last kind of capstone class was the best, and I, I call it capstone because we um, used all the components and built uh, essentially an e-commerce uh, site. So we, we built the user interface, we built the data calls, um, you know, built every component using the Microsoft.NET framework. And so it was incredibly rewarding and learned a tremendous amount and really kind of pulled all the pieces together. Well, actually, when I started taking the portfolio class with Ray, everything started coming together. It was just a great place to ask any question and figure out how all the products fit together, what kind of jobs there were that you could do with the skills that you enjoyed using. Uh, it was just fabulous. The level of instruction was excellent. It was top quality. We had a lot of different instructors. Um, some of them, uh, well, I think most of them actually came from industry. So they had a tremendous amount of experience and knowledge. Ray had been telling us since February or March, you need to give me your resumes now. If you want an internship, it doesn't just happen overnight. It was supposed to be interning on an hourly basis, but then the following week, every time I was trying to leave, there was something they needed doing. And so I would be saying to somebody else, could you please, I have to go, because I, I need to get out of here. Can you please do this and this and this? And it was just ridiculous. So I talked to Alana about it, and she said, yeah, this is stupid. So they just made me salaried right away. I mean, how could I have gotten this job with a tech lead program? I really used the uh, the paid internship that, um, that the tech lead leadership lined up for me uh, as they did you know for others I use that as a springboard to this position because in that role um, here I was fresh out of tech leap and I was really designing a user interface that reached into a client's uh, database and so uh, I developed again some fantastic skills put a lot of things together and I was able to feature those pieces on my resume in detail and of course in the interview process I was able to speak in detail uh, about what I'd done. The internship just really turned out well for me. I got um, in a, I was placed in a very good group. At first when I got there actually I remember being a little lost not quite knowing what I was supposed to do uh, but very quickly I got with a really exciting group that was managing um, and developing a website for Department of Education's um, federal student aid uh, direct loan servicing. It just worked out really well. And it was such a smooth transition for me to go from the internship straight into employment there. The majority of the work that we do for remediation has to do with forms and documents, um, which in and of themselves don't sound very exciting. And, and they're not. But um, behind the forms, at least, there is coding um, in JavaScript and I learned JavaScript in school. The work that I've enjoyed most since I've been here uh, was doing some web work. Um, we had a, a lovely um, website that we developed for a gentleman who, it, it's called the Solomon Family Foundation, and he developed a foundation to distribute DVDs to Jewish families to celebrate the High Holy Days when they don't have a synagogue near them. 
I work on projects for the uh, military health uh, system, <clears throat> which is part of the DOD in my current position. Uh, really the first major project, even though I studied object-oriented program, programming using the, uh, the .NET framework, the first project was uh, Java um, and Oracle databases. So because of the heavy object-oriented approach to the development in TechLeap, I was able to dive right in to the Java piece, um, knew where to look for resources to, to help me, and uh, had, a, had a blast with the project and, you know, have earned raises, you know, <laughs> over the last couple of years in the, in the, with the company and everything's going well. I interned with ACS um, and uh, quickly uh, moved into a tech job there. After my internship was over, I was lucky they hired me. And I, um, I never became just a programmer. I pretty quickly went into management and um, sort of problem solving, innovation development. And I was working on a contract with the Department of Education and the department offered me a job. And, and so it was more the analytical part of things. And I also was able to bridge the technical end of things with an understanding of the business and what the client wanted. It is a commitment for, for sure. I mean, it's, uh, I mean this, this is a program for previously degreed people. So, you know, I think if you're considering this program, at least, it, you know, the, the version I went through was. So, chances are then you're, you know, you're familiar already with the rigors of, of uh, an academic program. It's important to have your family support because you know your your family's involved as well. Your family's going to have to be able to give you time to do your homework and you know to attend classes and all that. Enjoy, uh, and 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 work hard. Uh, a combination of both. Um, it only it's it's a relatively short program compared to um, a normal post secondary program, and so it's fast paced. So you have to really enjoy and work hard, um, and prepare yourself for being out in the work world. It's um, a fabulous way to redirect yourself and to make yourself marketable. I would also say that after you have a few classes under your belt, get into the portfolio class with Ray because Ray is the heart of the program. He is the cheerleader for all the leapers. He does his little stand-up routine. He brings donuts. He makes us laugh. And then he also ties all the pieces together.